Hey guys, it's on Teddy here, and well, more like, uh, well, I'll get into that later. And on this part of Let's Play Pokemon Black, we are going to go find the legendary that is found within Mistralton Cave that this old man is talking about. And I was going to make a joke about Schrodinger's cat in the beginning, but I forgot to do it because my one friend told me he was going to, he's burning my other friend's house down in Minecraft to piss him off just in, in honor of me. I don't know how the terminology used, but it's just like an ongoing feud of burning things down and stuff. It's a lot of fun i just love minecraft and playing with other people i just games with other people make are 200 times more fun than yeah well i wouldn't say they're always more fun than games without people like sometimes playing a game by yourself and chilling is fun but a game that normally sucks without other people say like uh, a first person shooter and another dusk zone that we can't use unless we get like another litwick but some games, like, I would say Modern Warfare 3 because that game is boring and without, like, if I played that game by myself, I would probably get bored after, like, 10, 15 minutes. But with other people, oh my god, there's a legendary right there. And yes, I want to be strong. But without other people, that would suck. And I wanted to exchange Schrodinger's box. I mean, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's called Schrodinger's box. I wanted to explain that, but I'll, I'll explain it probably after the fight. But I, it's... There's got to be a name of that, because I know there's an, there's fancy names for stuff. Not, like, super fancy. Like, a name for when a game gets funner with more people. There's got to be a, uh, like, uh, the party, the party theory or something like that. I, I, if you have any fancy names for something that, it, it's hard to think of right off the top of my head of something. Think of fancy names down below of something that, like, in a group of people is more exciting or more fun. Like, it, if you're in a, more, a group of people, and I'll use this rare candy on Exedro because he really needs some level Sandstorm. Uh, no tanks, even though that would be probably useful for y No, I always do this wrong. No. Yes. And I use my last rare candy. Okay. But, yeah, if you have any idea for something that is at the same time... No, I'm getting Schrodinger's paradox. Schrodinger's. Uh, oh my god. I'm getting Schrodinger's box mixed up with, uh, uh, somehow. Oh, and I should probably, one, make a save state, and two. Ah, Swan is in the front. Swan's about to die anyway, so let's see. Let's, uh. Why am I going to save when I have save states? I'm saving the state of America from tyranny. But. Uh, I'll talk about Schrodinger's box and burning down things in Minecraft and words that are filling lexical gaps after this video. And I've been watching way too much Vlogbrothers, even though it's so awesome. Let's talk to the legendary. How are ya? Oh jeez, that doesn't- Ow! You broke my screen, what the heck, man? And this is Cobalton. Is this Rudolph? I forget if you're Rudolph. I want to nickname you Rudolph. I'm pretty sure you're Rudolph, but I don't know. And I don't even know what type you are. But this is the first of the three roaming legendary... Well, they're not roaming. The three legendary musketeers. And let's go surf just to be safe. I like how it's leveled, like, decently. Like, you're supposed to get it either before you, like, beat the elite. Holy crap. It has retaliate. That's cool. But it, it's leveled to... Okay, that's not good that I have Rocky Helmet. I hope you don't kill yourself. Oh, wait. Or you have, hopefully you have some special type of attack. Uh, let's go heal ball. I wonder how easy slash hard it is to catch these dudes. Eh, this theme is okay for the catching of one. Oh, sad face. I was going to get an epic catch, even though people don't kill yourself. Oh, jeez. I'm switching out to something else so it doesn't end up killing itself. Uh... Uh, he's probably... I'm just gonna go in the Squidward. Why not? But, I'm guessing his catch rate's gonna be 200 times harder than, uh, whatever the major legendary is. I'm really bad with remembering names of things, especially if I haven't recorded them in a while. But, some people are telling me that the catch rate that is so easy, so I shouldn't have been as hype as I was. And this theme is okay, but let's go Ultra Balls! Hopefully this doesn't... you don't end up being a Sock or a Squidward. Uno! Dos! Trace! Yes! Two! It only took two! I really hope your catch rate isn't that small so that I my uh, celebrations is for nothing! 
This legendary Pokemon battles against humans to protect Pokemon. Its personality is calm and composed. I wish I knew if you were Rudolph right now, so I would give you a nickname, but I shall not. And we caught the first legendary Muxeteer. Mu Muxketeer. Mas Masketeer. We caught the first legendary Masketeer. Any steel and fighting type. And okay. Hi, old man. It seems that thanks to you, Cobalton has sensed a change in the world. It's a world where people and Pokemon help each other and live together. I believe Cobalton wants to remain with you and travel by your side. Sorry, we can't have a full party, so... Y you can chill in the box with Reshiram if you want, I mean, good on you. The fact that you battle with Cobalton and relate it to each other should be easily communicated to... Oh, someone left the how the pronouncies in the comments. I'm gonna piss people off. I should have just copied and pasted it to my checklist of things I need to do. I feel bad. Communicate it to the other two musketeers because of the close bond between the three. I'm sure they will give you a chance to prove your worth. Okay. Thanks, dude. The obstacles that separated the two other musketeers from people are probably gone now. Whether you want to search for those two is up to you, but they're definitely waiting for you. I'll be waiting. <laughs> so now, I really hope I have an escape rope on me. Oh, but first, I have to check this thing that I was being pestered about in the comments. Pester is probably not the best word, but I want to check if I'm right, because I believe I'm right, but if I'm wrong, I will feel very stupid. Now, let's hope to Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Carlos, Muhammad, something. I'm just going to offend more. Yay, escape rope! I'm out of here! Peace out, Girl Scout! Now, I'm pretty sure it is on this route where we saw there's a Pokeball sitting there and a- Oh, and I still have a repel up, okay. There's a Pokeball sitting there and a, I'm pretty sure it's an item, but I, I mean not an item and I walked by it because I thought it, I'm pretty sure it's a Pokemon. So I was like, there's no point in me stopping to get that and wasting my time on it. And it is right here and- Yes! I'm not an idiot! Take that! I forget who commented in the comments! <laughs> Where did you comment? I commented in the comments. Quite, quite indeed! Swana! I don't- uh, I'm going to use uh, Ultra Ball and sacrifice Swana's life just to catch this fungus and nickname it Victory! The Victory Fungus! Yes! And that was completely unnecessary, especially because I already had a fungus. Yes, uh, yeah, I'll give you a nickname. You are going to be called Victory, and I would use you in my fight against the Elite Four if I did that, but I don't know if I'm going to want to train that much. Maybe that'll be one of those episodes that happens, like, in, like, two years. I'll just, like, come back to this game randomly, like, hey, oh, yeah, I never beat the Elite Four. Let's go beat him now, and let's see, where do we have to go next? We knocked Miss Stralton Cave off our list. I don't know how I should, like... I'm using WordPad, even though I have Word on my computer, I could probably, like, bold it out or something. I guess I'll, like, use bunches of spaces. Now, our next stop is Victory Road, and apparently we have to go near the top. So, let's fly there, and I'll see you guys when we are near the top of Victory Road, and then I'll explain Schrodinger's box. I just feel like being smart in this episode. Smarty, 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 Scott. So, I switched around my Pokemon a little grit. A little grit and grabbed our legendary mr. dude that we just caught and got rid of PD because I I weighed everyone's like strengths and balances and I realized PD even though he is our like bro and he's like our major guy and I don't know why I opened the dowsing machine just to close it but he's probably our least useful Pokemon and now let's put up a super repel and hopefully we can find him pretty fast because I know he's here but where are you and let's hope left is the right direction and I really wish I could have known I had could have used strength before because this is that's quite annoying that I realized in post game that I could get strength now. So I was already there. Let's go this way. Oh, and this this looks like a newly opened cave where boom! I am so smart. I didn't even have time to explain Schrodinger's paradox. But now let's save our states. Are we gonna catch all three of them in one episode? That would be cray cray dog for real, homie. And I probably saved over the wrong thing, but I don't care. So now let's go check out who this is. Who this is? Girl! Epic theme, and I should get my mouse off the screen. He broke RDS again. This is. I'm pretty sure it. Terracon! T Attack! I really should have copied those things from the comments, but. 
I think he is the bulky one out of these guys. And what is Sacred Sword? Who I want? I'm going to use that even though I have a feeling this will kill him. Helping hand? Are you stupid or something? Are you stu Oh god, that's gonna kill him. Oh cool, awesome. Now let's see. Can we bag you real quick like we did to your brother? What about one try? If I get in one try, that would be awesome. Uno. No, Spanish is not the correct answer. Wait, if Cobalton was Spanish, then this means you're... I don't know how they count up to three in any other language besides English. Uh, Ultra Ball. One. Oh, wait, he didn't even start doing that. I should probably some creative balls before I go to get to the next one. And I shouldn't have said that because this guy's going to take a half hour then. Huh. Cobalton is a good counter to Terracon. Uh, let's see... We'll try it two more times and then we'll cut to the failure reel that you guys will enjoy very much if I don't catch you. Okay, you're going to catch right now and I'm going to be happy, okay? Hey, screw you, man! Oh no, the Pokemon broke free. No, crap he did. Now, let's... A crit? Pff, that's some bull crap. Uh, let's see. Ultra Ball. Why did I scream Ultra Ball with conviction? I mean, it's not anything new. Seriously, you're not even going to shake? Well, I guess now, while this is going out, uh, now I'll save Schrodinger's whatever for later. Now is going to cut to the gag reel of me just like, gag reel? The reel of me being like, what the heck, dude? And being like, oh, one, two, oh, no, bro! Not even a shake. This is some bull crap. Sacred Sword. He is Sacred Sword, too. And he waits till now to use it? Go Bolton on your last legs, change your ball and oh I want to use a timer ball, but whatever. You're gonna catch him right here. I can't even get one shake! What is up with this garbage? Well at least let's bring in Zebro and paralyze him, maybe? So now with him paralyzed, we're gonna try out some new ball and we're going to catch him with this timer ball right here, right now. At least give me one shake to make me feel better about myself. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're totally welcome. Guayos mio! Why am I talking in Spanish? I don't even know how to talk in Spanish. But we talked Terracotta and Zebra with the final catch. A Pokemon that came to the fence of Pokemon that had lost their homes in a war. A war among humans. Bum, bum, bum! And you are definitely... You are way shorter than your other guy. I think he was like 11 feet tall. Or was that Reshiram? I get... Nicks, I get, I get Nicks mixed up. I get nicknames mixed up. But that was pretty quick, and I like how Nintendo put the Major Legendary right here, so you didn't have to walk that far. Good guy, Nintendo. Now we're gonna go check out the third and final member of the Three Musketeers. Spoiler alert: There's actually four. No, actually, there's. I think there is another one, but you're only able to get him in the like thing that's gonna happen in black and white, and you have to like bring all of them together or something. It's an event that I don't fully understand, and I don't really care enough to be fully understand. Oh, I want to say care, I just don't know. Now, after taking like 15 minute, minutes to finally figure out where Pinwheel Forest is, we will head there and those people are just having fun pacing and stuff. Oh, I like this theme. This reminds me of like 4th Gen. Like how they all have those nice like peaceful themes. I really enjoyed 4th Gen. 4th Gen was like one of my, it's really good gen. But I, I still believe this is probably the best Pokemon game. And this sounds like another 4th Gen theme. Hey, there's the nurse that heroes. Oh, I remember this. We were here with Gavin. Ah, oh, good old Gavin. I remember fighting through here with Gavin and stuff and having fun and then talking to the trainers and spoiling something. I forget. I talked about an upcoming project or something with him that I don't think actually came. Oh, yeah, that was... Oh, yeah, that was the Fallout 3 thing I told him about that actually never... Uh, well, I did one episode and I was like, yeah, this isn't really a good Let's Play and then I didn't do it anymore. And I I think it's back up here like where we saw Plasma in that area and... Ooh, stuff on the ground. Oh, trainers. Oh, wait. Cool, no, Battle Fiend. Battle theme! Battle farm! There's no battle theme, so I guess we're not fighting anyone. Uh, let's see. You're not over there. You're not over there. You're not up here. Are you over there? I have such interesting commentary. So while I'm looking for this, and I bet you I'll find it as soon as I start explaining, is, um, uh, what I was gonna say earlier is, I was gonna say I'm pretty much tired and awake at the same time. It's really weird. And I was gonna say I'm Schrodinger as untitled. Basically, Schrodinger did this thing... Uh, I'm trying to, I don't know it that well, it's probably better for you to look it up on Wikipedia if you're interested more in it, but basically, there's this guy named Schrodinger, and he had this thing where he put a cat in a box, and 
there was like a some a hammer that could trip poison but he didn't know if it would or it wouldn't like he he couldn't tell if it would if it was going to trip the poison or not like it could and it could not I'm, I'm really killing this it's better for you to look it up on wikipedia or something but basically he hypothesized that the cat that was in the box was dead and alive at the same time because he couldn't tell but it's it's actually untrue because if the cat the cat can't be physically dead and alive at the same time it's just he doesn't know it's dead nor alive so to him the cat can be dead or alive at the same time not exactly but sort of he doesn't know if it's dead or alive at the same time but the cat can't be dead at the same time as it is alive it's hard to explain but and oh items i think this might be the area we're supposed to be going to that area up there looks very fancy and very legendary ish but oh yeah this looks very legendary ish Hey, Mr. Legendary. Oh, you got cool hair. Oh, people use you all the time in UU, I think, and I don't like you. But basically, that's sort of Schrodinger's Paradox. Uh, I would just recommend you go look it up on Wikipedia if you're confused about it or don't know about it. It's actually kind of cool. I learned about it in a book uh, by John Green. I love John Green's book, and I love the Vogue Brothers. And I'm just going to keep saying that before I fight the Musketeers. And why are you nodding in sync with the music? Wait, is it in sync with the music? Yes, it is, but you guys probably won't be able to notice because the timing isn't perfect for me lining up the audio in the video. But let's stop battling and let's fight. Let's stop babbling and start battling. And dun dun dun. Oh, he's gonna break my screen again. What the heck, man? Why are you guys so mean? I wonder if those three cuts line up to like all those shards. A very sun appeared. And we have Mr. Timer Ball with us. And you are going to Sacred Sword. Please don't kill it. I think you are a, another defensive one of them. Don't kill me. I forget, like, which guy is which. Just don't kill him. Okay, cool. Uh, Rock Slide. Because you got to be, like... I think he's grass fighting. I'm pretty sure it's grass fighting. It looks like a grass type. And I think all the Musketeers are fighting. And wow, look how fast he's, he's already down. And let's go. If I get this with a Premier Ball, this would be crazy. Come on, Premier Ball, get this. I would love you forever. This would be a great ending to this episode. One, two, three. Oh my god! Yes! I really hope he doesn't have a high catch rate because that's freaking awesome. I just got him in a Premier Ball. Oh, I hope he not pay it. Oh, I really hope that's not a catch rate. I'm uh, like not as excited now because I'm like, oh, wait. Is he actually a catch freight? But I have the same feeling. I just caught him in a prayer ball. That's actually really cool, but oh my god. That I just feel excited. I I'm just I'm I'm so good. One try, one catch. So it took us two tries for one, like six tries for the other one, and then one for one! I don't even know anymore. This Pokemon fought humans in order to protect its friends. Legends about it continue to be passed down. Very Zim Zim it fights for its friends. I'm going to nickname you Ike. Because I can, and I'm making a reference to Smash Bros, even though I've never played Fire Emblem. I am calling you Ike, and I like Ike. And that's a reference to something, I know, I think it's a presidential candidate, the USA. But I don't care, I think it was Eisenhower or something or other. But next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black, after taking out all three of the major legendary Musketeers. There's, um, I think one more Pokemon we have to go check down, and then I think we should go start helping Looker find some of these stages. So, we're already getting a lot done, and this Let's Play is going to be over soon. Well, it's technically over. These are just bonus episodes. But I guess I'll see you guys sometime in the near future. Or will I? Oh, I love how the theme kicked down. Like, not kicked down. It got Peace Flur as I said that. That was pretty epic. I love how music can like set the theme of stuff. I just like this peaceful music. This is gonna be one of the, another one of those episodes where I'm babbling at music at the end. I don't care. I just love how music can like set emotions and stuff. Especially like I always bring up the Kingdom Hearts music. That's gotta get really annoying to you guys. But I love how um, video game music can help you recall emotions and recall places and recall what you were doing there and remember like minecraft like if i listen to the minecraft music which i like but i don't like as much more because on the xbox version they like spam it over they like the like i would say rate of encounter i guess that's not the correct terms but the rate of encounter of the music is like higher so there's more music playing on like on the pc version where it's like rare it's like perfect on the pc version and my screen died but and that means I've been babbling for a minute. Oh my god. But it's just like perfect on how little it comes up. It's just like... 
it just like it's those moments and you're just like huh i like this music it's nice even though usually i have the music off and i'm listening to my own music i'm rocking out i'm dropping some funky beats but i guess uh thank you guys for staying around and listening to me the babble i know i thank you guys last time and the theme always kicks down when i want to say goodbye so i guess we'll say goodbye and i'm gonna stop this exactly 25 minutes boom